You know what I love about I Have a Dream Week? What's that? It's that it's turned into I Have a Dream whenever we feel like it. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it should be that way. We like that because because dreams come and go. You know, you might you might one might pop off here and. In the next week or so, and you write us, and we try to make it happen for you. Yeah, Kelly just had a dream about the Beebs. Yeah, that was a weird dream. <laughs> we whatever. can't make any of that come true. Yeah. So we're getting your le- we're getting your letters, Kid Nation, and this one stood out to us. It's from Marsha. Marsha, are you there? Yes. How you doing this morning? I'm good. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. We have we have your letter in front of us, but you know, yeah, Marsha. Oh my gosh, girl. Well, mm-hmm. the, the things you are going through. What happened on June twenty second, twenty fifteen? Um, I got diagnosed with colorectal cancer. Mm. Which was very odd because you were only 37 at the time, you said, and even the doctors were surprised. This isn't supposed to happen to someone your age. Yeah, they went in um, to do a colonoscopy, and actually right before they knocked me out, they are like, we'll probably start you on medicine for ulcerative colitis today. And uh, they woke me up, and they were really shocked. It was worse uh, than they cancer. thought. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh my and so gosh. you basically had to kick in with the chemo, right? Yeah, I've actually already um, had too much radiation, and I had the surgery, and they weren't sure that they were going to do the chemotherapy because I'm allergic to the traditional chemotherapy. Mm. Oh, man. And, <laughs> yeah, uh, only 3% of people are allergic to it, and I'm allergic to it. So well, lucky you, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> so, what are, so what are you doing now? And, um, they found an alternative chemotherapy to do, so I actually just, I had the surgery and had the port put in last, just this last Friday, and okay. now I start chemotherapy this Friday. Okay. Hopefully you don't have a allergic reaction. This will exactly. actually help. No, yeah. hopefully, girl. Not. <laughs> hopefully not to this one. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, well, this is very serious stuff, Marsha, and you wrote us. In your letter, you started off saying, this probably seems silly or stupid. Let me tell you, this does not seem silly or stupid. At all. No. Oh. But she says, all I really want to do this year is buy furniture for my apartment. I've har- I have hardly anything in my apartment. And if I'm going to spend six months rarely coming outside because of germs and lack of energy, I really want to have some furniture, curtains, and pictures oh, wow. so that I feel comfortable and cozy at home. I don't want to feel like I'm in some stark, depressing isola- uh, isolation unit. I get that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, sure. This is a, I, This makes so much sense. This you want a mess Absolutely. and you want it to be yeah. comfortable. Yeah. So, Marsha. Yeah. Your dream is not silly or stupid at all. No. Not at all. And the pe- the people at home, they feel the same way. And they want to they wanna make your dream come true. They're going to give you a $1,000 shopping spree to at home. <laughs> and then on, on top of that, the at home team members are anticipating your arrival. And they're, re- they're ready. They're willing to help you find everything you need. They'll walk you through it. Oh, girl, they have the cutest. <sighs> Hey, dude, have you been to Ad Home yeah. Superstore? It's, I'm looking at stuff online right now. They have the coolest couches. They have so yeah. much. Oh. You're going to be able to make the thousand go far. It might be overwhelming, great. too, because they have over 50,000 stylish and affordable items to choose from. That's so awesome. Oh, <laughs> that's it's gonna very be, cool. I'm very hey, happy. Hey, a little bit of light. You decorate a little <laughs> bit. We'll get it in there for yeah, you. Yeah, and At Home also wants you to know, Marsha, that you are in their thoughts and prayers, and they want you to just have the best in your recovery process because you're gonna you're gonna recover from this. Yeah, you got this. It's Marcia. just getting there is the 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 problem. Yeah. That's so great. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, I'm excited. Do you need any um, posters or anything? Because Kelly one year gave me um, some posters. <laughs> well, of, see, I know the person I'm giving the gift it's to. like Booty Call yes. and Friday. I'm not giving her Booty Call some and Friday of my posters. Some favorite movies, so I could probably find you another copy. If, if, if that's something that you would like yeah. in your home, you know, a poster from Booty Call, the movie. You can say no, Marsha. I don't even, I don't think I've ever seen Booty Call the movie. I don't even know what that is. Oh, I, I got to make this happen. You know for what? You. You're probably going to be watching a lot of movies yeah, right? in yeah. your six months of treatment and recovery. That's I one am. you should put on your you list. Can, I was going to say, I've actually been asking people to come up with lists for me. You can send me a list. Okay. <laughs> we'll definitely put that on your list Booty Call. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll have, if you have a, a movie you want Marsha to watch, go, go post it on our Facebook sure. page. How should we hashtag it so people know? Um, Marsha's, Marsha's movie. Mar- Marsha's movie list. There you go. Marsha's movie, movie list. list. There you go. Yeah. So if you have a movie you want Marsha to watch, make sure you hashtag it Marsha's movie list and Something she'll be able to see it. That yeah. will lift her spirits through the chemotherapy. While she's surrounded by her beautiful new things from at home. Get all of the Friday movies. You got Friday, Friday, next Friday, Friday after next, <laughs> Friday coming up. Right. You Hashtag got. Martha's movie, Marsha's, Marsha's movie list. I don't know where I got Martha from. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's okay. Hey, you, you get better, okay? We look forward thank to hearing you so from much. you. No, thank you for writing us, Marsha, and good luck with your treatment, okay? All right, thank you. 
That you got. sucks, man. Mm -hmm. To be that age going through that. Yeah. And we're telling you, no, like we say, no dream is too big or too small. It's if you not have a dream. silly. And it's not silly at all. This no. is your dream. You know, own it up. Uh, go to kidnation.com and let us know what your dream is, and we'll try our best to make it happen.